Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken. Today we're continuing our blind playthrough in Legend Difficulty. It is, I think, still month number one. I have no concept of time so far, but we do have a squad of six for now. Euler and Grell joined us late in the day and we are hopefully going to find the third of the factions. When now it's off to killing some of their Rampage PTSD soldiers. So let's jump right into it. Good, we have landed. We need to kill all enemies. And this looks quite like a fortress here. Can we somehow get up? There is a ladder over here. I believe the high ground wouldn't be the worst idea. Can certainly see that there is a bit of a challenge the moment that we get split so I'll take the right hand side for Come now wait. Uh, too dead too risky too risky before we're jumping ready to roll give up dashing in that is a good position which means we should be fine doing it jumping up here okay cool I'm going in All right, Jerenks can also no to lose. dash, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Pushing on. One, two, moving over here into full cover. And the new guy takes half cover. Just in case someone is coming from here, Overwatch dies. Eyes open. Positioning. One. Going in. Target located. Two. Good old axe to the face. <laughs> Disable the leg and what? 50 bleeding damage? <laughs> okay, cool. To another half cover and this is hopefully going to remove some of uh, his cover apparently the answer is no Equipment is damaged. Ah. He might 
have lost his weapon. I'm here. Moving out. Ready to engage. Still on target. Oh! <laughs> He's down. His torso is just gone. Should I use a grenade? Well, that's all. That's always a bit resource intense. I don't like the idea of Dilly running into the house, but the alternative is getting on the rooftop here. Hmm. It's also not perfect. This guy is going to die. This guy, on the other hand, would not Go die ahead. just by himself. So I gotta get in. And Overwatch. Same deal on this side. Ah! Oh, that was a solid hit. Hundred thirty two points of damage. Not good. Only Dranks and Euler even have turns. Moving to coordinates. This guy has returned fire. Not good. Preparing to fire. Enemy killed. Here we go. How long does the mind control last?
Nope. Yes. So, no action points left over, plus bleed, that's not good. So it's different compared to XCOM where once your your mind control ends you effectively would get back all of the actions. Here it is definitely different. We're going to circle this guy. heal myself which is potentially not a bad idea and then we're overwatching eyes open here we go I need to recover. Self heal. Moving. It worked. <laughs> the damage is obscene. Franks Focus. heals himself. Medkits are incredibly important. I've already learned that. <coughs> that was close. Specifically the whole mind control. That was intense. I thought I would have lost Grell there. She was down to... 10 hit points and I don't know why she was taking bleed damage but maybe that just stopped after the mind control who knows I had always assumed the Phoenix project would return one day even after Symes disappeared it seems to be the defining pattern of your history fall then rise again I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make. After all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. What happened to those soldiers was disturbing. That is why I did not intervene. We could have stopped those soldiers ourselves easily enough. But I needed you to see, to understand that far more is at stake here than just our ecosystem or our genetic purity. We are being robbed of what makes us human, our will. I fear neither the Utopians at Synedrian nor those Anu fanatics really understand that. If you can recognize the real nature of the threat, Perhaps we can work together 
on stopping it. Okay. We are replenishing everything and I'm saying okay. Wow. Well, first, let's go back to base. Research complete. In terms of research, there are a few new weapons that we could start to research, but I would like to start with New Jericho. So far, wait a second, we just got uh, that monitoring. What exactly does it do? And what is that here? Is that a doom clock? Oh. Why would the game hide that behind the monitoring? I just, my intuition told me, you know what, human monitoring sounds a bit important. The fuck? I, I would have never seen that without accidentally... Okay, wait. So, 99% uh, surviving human population in the Havens. If this falls below 20%, you will lose the game. Okay, so that's our loss condition. And... So, hmm, how do I prevent that? Oh, okay, I'm baffled. That's a design flaw. Why, why would you not automatically show that or do it like an XCOM where the Avatar project pops up? Okay, be it as it may, no need to get mad about that, Saiken. So, we can either go on Shattered Realm go for War Cry. All enemies within 10 tiles have their action points reduced to 2 for the next turn. That's cool, I could jump in and use War Cry. That's a cool combination. Okay, we're definitely going to go for that. Fantastic. We want more of this and he's still pretty much out of ammo the, uh, the entire time, out of uh, carry space, I mean. Manufacture, medkit, personal. Shadow Realm gets, gets a medkit. Too heavy, really? What is your problem? So wait four, and these guys wait five. You know what? I'll just try the other gun for once. And see how good or bad it is. It's a little bit less damage. I don't know. I, th I really think this one here is better. Okay. A not enough points to upgrade anything. Same here. Guys are doing well. Um, Dilly. My man, how about a bit more hit points? That's never wrong. And 
and a grenade just in case. Grell almost bit the dust. Armor break. Next attack deals 30 additional shred damage. That's great. It's a good ability to have. I wish we had more defensive abilities though, because it feels like we're getting very much stomped. In order to circumvent that, more hit points. And more speed, likely. And Euler just got his first five uh, experience, so... Okay, cool. Personal... Uh, everybody needs healing. The more the disciples of Anu invest into this mutation tech, the further away they will move from what New Jericho considers humanity. This is... There is still time to look to reason, not superstition, for solutions. To seek answers in human will, instead of submission to the alien. But that time is running out. Good, so they hate one another. Now here's the question... What do we need to accept? I like these guys. Okay, so sabotage the disciples, uh, disciples of Anu. Energy generation, okay. And here it's food production. It's always good to fight against one another. I don't know, these guys are creepy because they kind of merge with alien tech. And these guys are taking it a bit too far. It's not pure democracy, this is just anarchy for the lack of a better word. They seem to be peaceful but a bit stupid. Let's still accept what they are doing. So we're fighting against the Anu because I just can't be bothered to deal with the aliens in any form. So that's what diplomacy is uh, giving us at the moment. Manufacturing we're okay. Research we're okay. Personal we're getting there. Phoenix, if you are receiving this message, then respond on the secure channel I have provided. It is essential that the information I am about to give you is kept confidential. My name is not important now, but I am known among the pure as Subject 24, the 24th volunteer in a program set up by Tobias West that gave us hope. We had a solution. A solution? A secret program that would fix the world. And in the final moment, he backed down. Nothing prepared me for his treachery, his selfish cowardice. But his attempts to erase us have failed. Failed. It was known as Project Purity. One man's dream of replacing every inch of human flesh with neurally controlled prosthetics. When I volunteered for the project, I had nothing left. My entire family, entire family, had succumbed to the Pandora virus. I watched my wife through bulletproof glass as she slowly turned into an abomination. Abominations! They're everywhere, waiting, watching. I had nothing left to lose. Along with many other brave men and women, I put myself forwards. A lot was sacrificed. He pushed us to the limit. Dozens of us died or were left crippled. And we came close to success. The Juggernaut Warrior was the final design. More than a soldier, more than a human. With titanium skin impervious to infection, perfectly pure. Pure! Pure as a smile in winter as a human should be. There were problems. Total encapsulation created some. Mental instability, hallucinations, and dreams. Not everyone could take it, but there was no shortage of volunteers to take the program forwards. And then, Tobias West, the coward, the traitor, the small-minded charlatan, pulled the plug. 
terrified of what he couldn't understand, the great leader ordered everyone involved with the project killed. Killed! Maybe he thought if he buried us, he'd bury the truth of his shame along with us. His shame! But we fought back. I and several others managed to escape. For years we remained silent, hiding, running, waiting for the right moment. The right moment. And that moment has come. Has come! Facing a losing battle against the Pandora virus, the weak-minded West has reactivated the old Project Purity facilities, and that makes him vulnerable. Phoenix, I am offering you an exchange. I know the location of the facility and how to get in. You have the firepower. The power! Hailstorms of fire and acid. Raid the lab and share the tech with us. All this time in hiding has left us damaged and in need of urgent repairs. If you succeed, we will both gain. Humanity will gain. We are the pure. The pure! We are the future. Help us, Phoenix. Help our species. Okay, there's no shortage of crazy people in this campaign. Let's help him. Undefendable. This new Jericho neural tech we've been hearing about. It sounds like a pretty cool technology, really. But has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? New Jericho is a society of laws and principles. There will be no abuse. You think so? Because to me, it seems like these principles never find structural expression and are thrown aside all too easily when it's convenient. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe New Jericho is all you believe it to be. I hope so. Okay, some extra mission. We are almost... Oh no, Grell still needs hit points. Never mind. Okay, so there is the undefendable mission. There is the other mission, the uh, Symes Retreat. And did we get new recruits? Still available in one day. Okay, we're going to wait a bit. Grell still... Uh, still needs more hit points. Haven reports of scientific observations have identified new Pandorian mutations. A Thorian Brute, a Thorian Gunner, a Thorian Wretched, and a Thorian Footpad. Brute. 120 hit points. New type of evolved in close combat. Noticeably difference. Presence of an organic shield. And the ability to spit poison at medium range. Torso has armor, rest does not. Okay. Theory and Gunner. Oh, that's not good. Adapted use of firearms. Transform human weapons and incorporate them into their bodies. They do have armor on the torso and the hat. And the ability to return fire. Okay. Well, at least the game gives you all of the infos. A bit stupid that the alien, that crabs are running around with weapons, but I suppose it is what it is. Um, evolved Triton, chameleon like skin, that allows it to vanish on the battlefield. Hmm. Freezer is further capable of emitting clouds of mist to hide. All weapon attacks are silent, become invisible when uh, when dealt damage, and hide in a nearby location. Spawn a cloud of mist around the creature. And armor everywhere. 
plus more armor on the torso. Well, that already looks like an unfun enemy. Triton footpad. Triton evolved to uh, use human assault rifle specimen and it has enhanced perception. Reports confirm the existence of a second pair of arms that can drain blood from close distance. Jump up down on a building. Ability to restore 10 hit points to all body parts each turn. And good perception. Also blood sucking arm. Well, none of them sound like fun. Literally every single one of them sound uh, like you don't want to fight against them. Research complete. New Jericho was one man's vision, and everything depended on that one man. Before the war, Tobias West had been a billionaire, an elusive, controversial businessman who denounced war even as he profited from it. When the world fell, his empire began to rise. Some said he was a genius, a man of principle, dedicated to equality and merit, fighting to preserve the core of human freedom, our will. They said he had a plan, that he could lead us to victory. Others called him a dictator, a megalomaniac, fearful of infection and obsessed with purity. They said he was willing to do anything to win, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project needed allies. New Jericho could help us turn the tide, but it all depended on one man. Okay, so now Haven Trade Protocols sounds like a good idea. We need more resource trades. That's good. Still no recruits. Available in zero days, so it's already starting to get better. Grell still needs some time to recover. Construction complete. Training facility and medical bay, that is good. So no, none of these do have any further recruits, which means the only recruits should come from here. Almost done. I want to get Grell to full hit points. Very good. Crew is fully rested and ready. Level up for Dilly G. Why didn't I see that beforehand? The action point cost of the next shot with a proficient weapon is reduced by one. That is very important. Super good ability. Great, fantastic, lovely, immediate take. That even allows him to shoot twice with his sniper rifle in a single turn. Granted, it costs six uh, willpower, but that is good. Willpower is good. I start to like it more and more. Are we going to go and do this mission here, the justice? Hmm. Why not? Okay, well, it's either going to be a really good idea or a totally bad idea, but this is what we're going to find out the next time. If you already know whether it's a good or bad idea, click the like button, uh, but don't indicate whether it's a good or bad idea. Uh, just click the like button and uh, give it a go. We're seeing each other in two days. Thanks for watching, guys. See you. Bye-bye.